The Chicago Bears just absolutely fleeced the Los Angeles Chargers for Keenan Allen. A fourth round pick for Keenan Allen. And I know the five Chargers fans in existence are going to come for me in the comments and say, oh, it was a cat move. A cat move was cutting Mike Williams. Now Justin Herbert just went from having Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Gerald Everett, Josh Palmer, and Quinton Johnson to having Hayden Hurst, uh, Josh Palmer, Quinton Johnston, and Gus Edwards, they lost Austin Eckler as well, who was a little bit on the decline, I will admit. So Gus Edwards is not a bad replacement there. But a fourth round pick for a veteran who's not just playing well, he's playing amazing. For those of you guys saying, oh, well, he's aging and he had a high cap, it, he deserved to be there more than Bosa and Khalil Mack who also had a really, really high cap hit. They were both injury prone, well, more Bosa than Mack for sure. Mack deserved to be there more. Bosa's been injury prone for so long throughout his career. I think Keenan Allen, he refused to take a pay cut because the Chargers asked him to right before they traded him. And he said, no, I'm not going to take a pay cut. Why should he? He's one of the better receivers in the NFL. And he's a veteran receiver that could have trained Quinton Johnson or potentially Malik Neighbors in this upcoming draft or Rome Ladunze, who have the Chargers take here at pick number five in this upcoming draft but it's crazy to me that they're trading him for a fourth round pick caleb williams is gonna have fun yeah justin fields is not gonna be the qb of this rebuild for sure and what i've been hearing is that justin fields apparently has no trade value teams just aren't interested in this guy maybe they'll get like a fourth round pick for him which will be a total l for the bears because they traded two first round picks to trade up to get him just for him to be traded for caleb williams but Anyways, guys, apart from that, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like and or subscribe. The channel just hit 11,000 subscribers. I really appreciate that. But anyways, for the rest of the team, they just got DeAndre Swift. He was paid a huge bag for his contract, but they still needed a running back. DJ Moore, Keenan Allen are really nice additions here. They got Gerald Everett, but I like Cole Komet better. For this O-line, it's terrible in real life, but in Madden, they're young. I got something to work with here. And then defensively, yeah, D-line sucks other than Montez Sweat, Tremaine Edmonds, TJ Edwards, Kevin Byer, the new addition, another veteran free safety other than Eddie Jackson. Jalen Johnson just got a mega contract. Surprised EA didn't give this guy like superstar dev. Super underrated in real life. But anyways, I'm going to be trading Justin Fields and picking Caleb Williams. And with the number one overall pick in the draft, picking up Caleb Williams from USC, 6'1", 222, hidden dev, 93 throw power, 88 speed, 89 acceleration. Want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers for giving me this draft class as well. They said they updated it, uh, added new overall stats, overall devs, made it a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to try it out. This is my first time seeing it. And Caleb Williams has A's in literally every stat, which is kind of crazy. Some things, maybe his awareness is probably a B. You never know, but... That's just me. That's my personal opinion. Don't come from my head. Love the roster, dude. Anyways, apart from that, let's get to the rest of the draft. Now I'm going to be taking a little bit different of a route here. Usually everyone thinks the Bears with their other top 10 pick, they're going to take a receiver. But with Keenan Allen and DJ Moore, do you really need to take another receiver? Yes, Keenan Allen is an aging veteran, but I think getting Jared Verse for the awful defensive line that they have will be a great investment in the future. I don't think Dallas Turner will fall all the way to the Bears. I think he's going to go to the uh, Falcons at eight at the very, very latest. And then Jared Verse would go to the Bears at nine here. So Jared Verse at a Florida State, I'm a Florida State fan. He was a little bit injury prone at Florida State here and there. He would sit out for a couple games, but it wasn't like season end in ending or anything. But when he was on the field, he was a beast. 6'3", 256, hit and dev, 87 speed, 90 acceleration, 85 jumping, A's and 1B across the board. Here's a note to anyone. If you have a top five pick in the second round, you can trade it for a next year's first. This is a legendary move that I always do. So I'm going to trade away pick number one in the second round to the Seattle Seahawks. They may not do that in real life, but this is my rebuild. And in the third round, I'm picking up a receiver to, you know, a younger receiver, a guy that they can develop. Roman Wilson out of Michigan, 5'10", slot archetype. We already have two big physical guys. Need a smaller guy here for the slot. Roman Wilson to replace, I would say, Darnell Mooney, who kind of completely fell off last year. And he's on the Falcons now. 5'10", 190, hidden dev, 92 speed, 95 acceleration. A's across the board. I think a little bit crazy for a third round pick to have this many A's, but still seems like a crazy prospect. Here is the team after the draft. I got this guy named Zinter in like the fourth round. He's a 75, but normal def, that's fine. Roman Wilson at a 77. Might need to tone that down a little bit for future reference for GC Sports, the guy that made this roster. No hate. I think it's sick, but some of these overalls, this guy, Roman Wilson being a 77 is cracked. I think he should be more like a 72. 
toned down some of these overalls, but Caleb Williams being an 81 without the boost. I mean, he's a crazy prospect. Don't have any problems with that. Justin Fields, of course, I'm going to trade. I kind of forgot about it for Jared versus 78 overall. Greg Murphy, I don't know who this guy is. The AI picked him up, but sure, why not? Anyone else? Tyreek Stevenson, let's move up. Team's already looking better with Jared Verse. Still need some interior defensive linemen. And Justin Fields, I'm going to trade him away. Let's see which teams actually have an interest in him. The Broncos? Maybe. That wouldn't be the worst thing. The, the Cardinals off rev. No, no, no. Mm, some of the, the Raiders makes the most sense to me, if I'm being honest. Or maybe even the Rams to develop him. I could actually kind of see that. <laughs> Already trading Calvin Ridley. Titans are done with them. They're like, oh, we don't we don't want his contract. Uh, honestly, for the plot, why not? Let's just put him on the Rams for the plot. I know it may not seem the most realistic, but nobody expected Baker to go to the Rams. You could develop him under Matthew Stafford. Uh, next year's fourth round pick seems a little bit too little. So let's do next year's fourth and a six. Reports say he has little to no value to other teams. So Justin Fields is gone for a four and a six. Caleb Williams is the captain now. And this is what we got going on for the team. Already an 84 overall. Jared Verse, hopefully he is a beast. And I got to adjust the lineup once more. Specialist, anything else here? Jared Verse, Murphy, sure, let's have him. Yeah, I'm not having Keenan Allen in the slot. Let's put Roman Wilson there. Anyone else? No, let's move in to the midseason mark. Four and two, top of the division with Caleb Williams. Scouting national focus, it needs to be defensive tackle here. It's not a strength, but it's also not a weakness of the class. For the players ready to negotiate, Tevin Jenkins just doesn't want to be here. He wants to be top of the depth chart. Bro, what? You are the top of the depth chart. I am not crazy. You are literally at the top of the depth chart. Is it because he's a right guard playing left guard? Is he just smoking that much crack that he thinks he's not starting? My boy, you are quite literally the top of the depth chart. Do I have to move you to left guard just because you wanted to forcefully play there all by yourself? Wow. Devin Jenkins' interest suddenly shoots up since I change his position magically. Sure. Anyways, neutral deal. I'll do four years, 12 million. He resigns on that. Good stuff. Khalil Herbert. It's not a. It's not necessarily a bad contract, but I'll just draft a new running back that I just don't have to pay anything. So I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, everyone here, just not interested in. I'll write out Khalil Herbert's contract. I'm not going to trade him. So anyways, let's move into the playoff. 10 and 7, second in the division. Who are the Vikings balling out with? It's not Sam Darnold. There's no way Sam Darnold is balling this hard. Desmond Ritter is balling this hard. Did he get traded? Yeah, he got traded to the Vikings. Did he not? No, he got traded to the Falcons and the Falcons cut him. I definitely have him on the, no, not Falcons. He started on the Falcons. Was it the Cardinals? It was the Cardinals. I swear to you, he was not on the Vikings on my roster. Homie definitely got cut. <laughs> Homie definitely got cut from the Cardinals roster or something. I did not do that. And now he's balling. He's such a baller in simulation, but he's so dog ass in real life. 10 and 7, second division. I did not put him there. And if he's on the Vikings, I did put him there. <laughs> uh, Caleb Williams, amazing first year, 13th best offense, worst defense in the NFL. That doesn't make any sense. Almost 4,000 yards, 37 touchdowns, 7 receptions, 111 pass rating. Amazing rookie year. DeAndre Swift, 10 touchdowns, 4.2 per carry, 1,200 yards. Solid year. Keenan Allen, 1,100 yards, 10 touchdowns for a fourth round pick. Crazy steal. DJ Moore, 10 touchdowns, almost 1,000 yards. Roman Wilson, great rookie year with 900 yards and 8 touchdowns. Defensively, Tremaine Edmonds with 142 tackles. Tackles for a loss. 16 for Montez Sweat. Sacks, 14 for Montez Sweat. 9 for Jared Verse in his rookie year. That's probably going to get defensive rookie of the year. Really good. Three interceptions for Tyreek Stevenson. Safeties is one for Andrew Billings. And defensive touchdowns is one for Jaquan Brisker. Somehow, we have the worst defense in the NFL. I think it's literally just because D-line, the more you stack it out, the better it is. Like, why is my defensive passing game the worst in the NFL? Oh, Vic, it's your playbooks. You just don't know how to run anything. Like, do I have to change it every time? Caleb Williams is a superstar to have. I always run base 4-3, Bill's playbook, and it's everything's just hit or miss. I'm going to run Tampa 2, 4-3, expected pressure QB, blitz is Tampa 2, unique for having multiple linebacker responsibilities and deep zone. No, my linebackers aren't good. 4-3 quarters allows opportunities for the field, man zone coverage, just 4-3 quarters, good match against versatile offenses like spreads. Um, can I get a 4-3, four, 4-3 three, four, three cover, pass rushing up front, coverage in the middle, safeties unafraid to play aggressively will force. Okay, that sounds good. My safeties are good. Let's try 4-3, three, cover 3. 
that sounds that sounds a lot better. We're gonna try that <laughs> and uh, see if we can beat the Minnesota Vikings. We apparently have the worst coverage defense, even though I have Kevin Byer, Jaquan Brisker, and Jalen Johnson. We beat them with our new playbook, 21-18, and see if we can beat the Saquon Barkley Philadelphia Eagles. I doubt we will be able to. It's fine though. Yeah, makes sense. 31-15. Let's move into the off season. And the Jaguars beat the Niners in the Super Bowl by one point as the Niners are 0-4 in the Super Bowl in their last four Super Bowl appearances. Lost the Ravens in 2013, back-to-back losses against the Chiefs, and now to the Jags. Trevor Lawrence wins Super Bowl MVP. Sure, Dak wins league MVP, bud. <laughs> I'm always going to be like, sure, okay, but Dallas Turner wins Rookie of the Year over Jared Verse. All right, that's fair. But Caleb Williams does win Rookie of the Year. He might have X Factor now. In the NFC North, Danico Autry and Harrison Smith retire. For the adjust lineup, Caleb Williams does get X Factor. No surprise. Roman Wilson has start of anyone else for the upgrades. Offensively, no. Defensively, Jared Verse, he had double digit tackles for a loss, nine sacks. That was a really good year. Unfortunately, it doesn't get superstar. I'm not going to change it. Montez Sweat gets superstar, and Tyreek Stevenson gets superstar. Tremaine Edmonds gets X Factor. That's awesome. Anyways, let's move in to the re signings. For the re signings, Khalil Herbert, no. Everyone else here already said no to. I have 58 million to spend in free agency. After free agency, I got Xavier Howard on a one-year Band-Aid deal, Ali McNeil for a defensive line. I kind of overpaid for him a little bit, but still, five-year contract. And Michael Carter, 75 overall. He's younger than Khalil Herbert, and I'm only paying him, like, I think $2 million a year at maximum. Dirt cheap deal. Let's move into the draft. In the first round, I'm picking up defensive tackle Matthew e- Eubanks. Eubanks? Eubanks, my bad. Eubanks is how you pronounce it, out of Florida State to pair with another Florida State defensive lineman in Jared Verse. 6'1", 305, 93 strength is great for a rookie. Hit and dev, A's and B's across the board. He looks sick. And with my other first round pick, because I traded back last year with the Seahawks, Alex Cox out of Virginia Tech, 6'3", 200 pounds, very, very tall for being a corner. Hit and dev, 91 speed, 95 acceleration is very good for someone who's 6'3". A catching, A man coverage, B zone coverage, very well balanced too. In the second round, getting another very strong defensive tackle, Dominique Rhodes out of Utah, 6'2", 300 pounds, 92 strength, very similar to our last guy, hit and dev. Skills are a little bit less than the previous guy, but still, he's going to make, make a great defensive lineman. Ooh, Keon Harris, very athletic. Skills blow, but hey, I'll take a chance. Very athletic, hit and dev, hell yeah. Fourth round pick, Keon Harris, super athletic out of Bama, 5'10", 207, 95 speed, 94 acceleration, hit and dev. Lacking in the skills department, but hey, he's really fast. This is the team moving into year number two. I'm going to move Zinter here up to center. We just don't really have anyone there. Looks like the AI picked up this guy named Crawford. Yeah, start of. He's going to be my start of fullback. Let's go. Receiving core looks great. Offense overall looks great other than just some parts of the interior offensive line. 85 overall team and Eubanks. I'm honestly just going to start off rip. Put Rhodes at the three. Aleem McNeil. Actually, since it's the higher overall, we're going to put him there. Rhodes. Ward, who I got in the fourth round, is a 68 overall, but that's fine. We can develop him. Honestly, I'm going to start him over Kyler Gordon. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Team honestly looks really good. Again, it's just a development thing. This guy I got in like the fourth round. He's only a 64. Not really that special. But Cox, sure. Let's put him in the slot. Eubanks, let's put him as the edge rusher. Wilson is going to be in the slot. Everything looks good. 85 overall. Let's see if we can make the playoffs. But first, get to the midseason mark. 7-0, and top of the division. Jordan Love is balling out at 5-2. and Desmond Ritter is balling out at 4-3. and The Lions, 1-6. and EA Sports. <laughs> Pay to play. Anyways, and I even have DJ Reed on the roster. DJ Reader, my bad. Anyone, do I need anything? I always ask myself this, and I'm only in year number two. Interior offensive line, I guess. DJ Moore, $105 million to spend. Absolutely, you're coming back. Let's increase the bonus. And he resigns. Uh, DeAndre Swift, what do you want? No state income tax? I can't do anything. So we're going to pay you more money to account for the state income tax. Jaquan Brisker, you don't like our scheme fit. Well, guess what? We're 7-0. and oh. Deal with it. <laughs> going to pay him more money. Braxton Jones, more, more, more shit I can't control. Thanks, man. Do I really want to pay him $14 million a year? He's my franchise left tackle. I think I got to. This blows, but I'm going to have to do it. Here he signs. Keenan Allen, dude. People, please, we're 7-0. and Let's like, let's think to ourselves that we have a franchise QB and we're actually starting to become a better franchise. All right? Let's 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 start liking the team, please. A warm weather state, 
my, sorry that we took you from Los Angeles, Keenan Allen. Shit. <laughs> oh my God. TJ Edwards, I'm not paying you. I'm going to have to pay you like, yeah, I'm not paying you 18 million a year. TJ Edwards can walk. I would trade him, but we're 7 and 0, so I'd rather just tag and trade him if I can at the end of the year. Gerald Everett, I'm not going to do a Kyler Gordon. I already have so many DBs. Don't need Date Davis. All these other guys, don't want, don't really care. And Kevin Byard, I do want back, but I know he's going to regress at the age of 33 next season, so I'm going to wait on that. TJ Edwards, I'll probably tag and trade. Keenan Allen, I'm going to have to thug it out, but I think he's going to regress to him whenever he turns 34, so I'm going to wait on that as well. But for now, we're 7 0. We have a chance to do it here in year number two because I already have an X Factor quarterback for the Bears. So let's move in to the playoffs. 15 and 2, top of the division. No first round bye is outrageous. Who is possibly better? You know what? I'll accept that. I'm not going to be mad. 16 and 1 or 17 and 0, Niners. Outrageous. Outrageous record that they got here. You got to face the 10 and 7 commanders with Bobby Wagner and. Jacoby Brissett, probably have a new QB now. Caleb Williams, total baller. Third best offense in the NFL. Seventh best defense. That scheme change completely changed everything. And Jaquan Brisker's like, meh, I don't like the scheme that's winning. Meh. Anyways, Caleb Williams, 4,200 yards, 37 touchdowns, six interceptions, 119 pass rating. Slowly improving. He's already an X factor. Doesn't really need to improve anymore. DeAndre Swift, 15 touchdowns, 4.1 per carry, 1,300 yards. Better than last year, but we are feeding this man. Pass the ball more. DJ Moore, 110 receptions, 1,400 yards, 8 touchdowns. Roman Wilson, 11 touchdowns, 900 yards. Keenan Allen, you're 91 X-Factor, but I need more production than this, dude. <laughs> I need more production than that. And his fall off is finally starting. Tremaine Edmonds, 95 tackles. Tackles for a loss. 15 for Matthew Eubanks. Eubanks, not Eubanks. Eubanks, damn. Sacks, 8.5 for Montez Sweat, 5.5 for Aline McNeil. Where the hell is Jared Verse? I mean, nice tackles for a loss, bud, but like, you know, there's something called rushing the QB. Get me more than just three sacks. Jalen Johnson, five interceptions. He'll probably get superstar dev. Zero safeties, one defensive touchdown for Tyreek Stevenson. Not going to resign Kyler Gordon. My other DBs seem to be balling just fine. Let's see if um, Caleb Williams can get his first ever playoff win. I mean, actually, we won one last year. Never mind. Beat them 42 to 24. Of course, we have to face Jordan Love here. We could actually lose this one. I wouldn't be surprised. The Packers own the Bears, and that's not the case here. No, the Niners are 15 and 2 as well, and we got snubbed out of it. That's gay. Anyways, let's see if we can beat the Niners to move on to the Super Bowl in year number two. Here we are against the San Francisco 49ers. 7 0 start here, 14 0. Damn, they are not playing. They're not playing with us at all. 21 to 10 now. Please come back. Come back. Please make comeback. Please, Caleb Williams, save us 13 to 21. Oh, yes, sir. The Caleb Williams comeback. Don't screw this up for us, Caleb. Don't screw this up. End game drive, I'll hop in. Don't don't you dare screw this up. I'm going to play this. We need to get to the Super Bowl. Of course, they had to stick me in the game on third down. Why, maybe? Yes, sir. That's going to be Wilson? Roman Wilson. I was like, who was that? But still, first and 10. First and 10. Yes, I'm running chew clock here, and I'm running the ball with Swift, who's already going to get an easy first down here. Third down and three. Probably going to be looking for D Swift on the check down. Why did you run back to me? Please move forward. Thankfully, he got that. First and 10, two-minute warning. First and 10. Looking for Roman Wilson. I'm going to take the check down here. DeAndre Swift. Wide open. He's going to stretch forward to a second and inches. I'm actually going to start running chew clock here since we're on the 10. They got a three-man set, so I'm going to run this. It's going to be an easy walk-in touchdown. Why are you possibly running a three-man defensive line <laughs> whenever I'm inside the 10 here? Oh, no, I'm going for two. I'm finishing this game and going for two here against the Niners. I'll even hop in on defense so that way the AI doesn't screw me. But Caleb Williams, doesn't he have pretty fast speed? Can I just roll out and cheese it? Can I? Yeah, I can. Caleb Williams going to get the two-point conversion, 29 to 28, but I need to prevent them from getting in field goal range. All right, defense. We just got to play a zone the entire time. Please pick that. Oh, dude, that was game. What the hell? I think that was the guy out of Alabama who had low skills. It's really showing. Third and seven for the Niners. Cover George Kittle. He's going to the outside. Please pick it off. Thankfully, it's a horrible throw under pressure. Fourth and seven for the Niners. Fourth and seven. Got to cover George Kittle. I know he's going to be open at some point. Pick it off. Step up. Thank you. User pick. Tyreek Stevenson. Run the correct way, please. Block McCaffrey. Oh, my God. Dude came in like DK Metcalf. Anyways, that should be the game. And yes, I'm going to play it because I know the AI is stupid and won't just knee the ball. No, they will knee the ball. Anyways, um, 
that should be the game. Let me please get out of this and just end the game, please. If I get screwed by this, I'm going to rage. I'm going to rage. I think the Niners actually got the ball back there for a second. <laughs> the AI just won't need the ball for the life of them. But thankfully, we get away with it because of what I did. 29-28. Let's move on to the Super Bowl. Here we are to face the 12-5 Cincinnati Bengals. This is going to be a pretty hard matchup, but at least it's not the Chiefs. The Chiefs are crazy in simulation for good reason. Let's see if we can give Keenan Allen his first ever Super Bowl ring. DeAndre Swift has superstar X Factor now. Still haven't seen my fullbacks, Dev. I mean, he's definitely going to be a star Dev. Eubanks has star Dev. Rhodes, we haven't seen yet. Cox, nice, has star Dev. Ward has yet to be seen. And Stevenson, did he go from star to X Factor? I mean, he just got a game-winning pick, so good for him. But he got X-Factor apparently now, and team looks great. 88 overall. Let's see if we can beat Joe Burrow and the Bengals. Let's see if we can hand Joe Burrow his second Super Bowl loss in his career. Here we are against the Bengals. They're going to start out with seven points. Offense responds with a punt, and then the Bengals are going to put another three on the board. Offense, do something. Please, do something. 17-7. to 7. I have to yell at them for them to start doing shit, bro. 24-10. to 10. Please, please. Caleb Williams, save me. <laughs> We're going to lose. Yeah, we got beat down pretty bad. The defense did not do their job, and the offense, neither neither side did their job. As Joe Burrow rightfully gets his first Super Bowl win, we're going to start out with a Super Bowl loss. But we're only in year number two. We have an X-Factor QB who's about to be a 99 overall. Hopefully, Keenan Allen doesn't retire. He only had two receptions for 38 yards. But let's move in to the offseason. Joe Burrow wins the Super Bowl MVP. Patrick Mahomes wins the league MVP. And anything else here? No, am I, I don't know why I'm blanking and taking so hard to read this. It's taking me years to read this. I keep saying Bengals and I keep reading it as Browns. I guess I'm dyslexic. In the NFC North, Kyle Fuller retires. Darnell Wright, sure, I'll accept the option. Keenan Allen, he has regressed. His contract has gone down too. Very player friendly, increased the money even more. He's It's part of the rebuild. Probably just going to keep him until he retires. TJ Edwards has regressed, and he still wants $16 million a year on top of even more money because he doesn't want to be here. That's a no. Kevin Byard, his contract has regressed. I'll do a two-year deal for only $9 million a year. Anyone else? Kyler Gordon, don't really need, don't really want Gerald Everett. Nope, don't really want anyone else here either. $40 million to spend. Hmm. Probably JOK is going to be there, and I'm just going to replace TJ Edwards off the rip. After free agency, I'm replacing TJ Edwards with Christian Harris from the Texans. I think he's going to be really good. He's young. He won't regress on us. He had interest with the team. I did pay him around $12 million a year, but at least I'm not paying like $18 million a year for TJ Edwards, who's just going to regress into the ground. Tyson Levy? Wasn't this dude in my... out of Utah? This dude was definitely in my, in my Titans video. I had Sal Levy. Now I get Tyson Levy, the brother out of Utah. He was a real Mormon here. He's a baller, too. I'm not going to draft a QB. Just... Notice that. It's weird. In the first round, pick 31, wide receiver Michael Gregory out of Miami. Now, a lot of you may be saying, oh, why are you going to pick him? Because I think it's inevitable that Keenan Allen will just retire on the team. So I want an immediate replacement here. He is normal dev, sucks, but 93 over, not 93 overall, 93 speed. 93 overall as a rookie would break records. But A catch in traffic, A back catch, B release, B deep route. He's probably going to be a high overall. In the second round, picking up middle linebacker Zach Sheldon out of Clemson. I just remembered that I still have to draft the offensive lineman. I need to do that, but still, 6'3", 236, heading dev, 91 speed, 89 acceleration. Very athletic A zone coverage, A injury, B play rack. In the third round, picking up left guard Brad Leach out of Tennessee. Going to move him inside to center, 6'4", 311, hidden dev, of course, 84 strength, 76 speed. And this dude's a fourth rounder with all these A's? That's crazy. Now, this is the team after the draft. Brian Leach here. Brad Leach, not Brian Leach. Bri I was about to say Brian Leach again. Brad Leach is going to move inside officially to center here. Don't want to deal with it. And him be like, oh, I'm not at the top of the depth chart like Tevin Jenkins. Speaking of Tevin Jenkins, he has superstar dev now? I didn't even know that. Did he not move to center? Dude. Mm. Tempted to say EA. Tempted to say EA, but shame on me. I bought some EA stock later today. <laughs> Earlier today, I mean. For those of you guys saying, why would you buy EA stock, Vic? Why well, EA is a terrible company. Because they're about to come out with the NCAA game, and they're about to make a shitload of money off that, regardless if it's a dog shit game. Everyone's going to buy it. So, for the team, though, <laughs> just talking about stocks in the middle of the video. Stonks, baby. Stonks. Anyways, the O-line looking a lot better now. 88 overall team. Crazy, like 96 overall, Caleb Williams. The team's crazy. Offensively, what was that receiver? The Donnie Mitchell I got in the later rounds, apparently, from the AI. He's a 76, but 
unfortunately, he probably won't do anything. So, R Wilson's still going to be there. We're going to put Gregory up so that way he can maybe get some reps. Put that guy up. Sheldon, who I got in the second round, is already 74. That's baller. And then defensively, I noticed this. Later on, Ward, the guy that I got in the fourth round who was just an athletic baller but lacked skills. Oh, no, it was not this guy. It looks like the AI picked up that guy. He apparently has superstar dev, but Ward, where the hell did he go? He just doesn't exist anymore? There's a guy named Ward that I had on... Is he in my practice squad? Somebody must have signed him off my practice squad, and I'm real pissed. It was, he low-key looked like a baller. Anyways, we got uh, Tate here. Demarcus Tate out of Miami, another Miami guy. Um, he looks like Dev McQueen, who was also out of Miami. If you know, you know. Sheldon, we're going to move up here. He's a 74. He seems like a baller. Rhodes are going to move up over Gravon Dexter. Team looks great. 88 overall. Let's see if we can go back-to-back -back Super Bowl runs, but move into the midseason. 7-0 back-to-back seasons at the midseason are coming off a win to Big Kirko and the Falcons. For the scouting national focus, I say it every time. I don't know what to do. More depth at safety. Why not? For the players ready to negotiate, I spent too much money. Damn it. <laughs> I should not have signed Christian Harris. Caleb Williams, Jared Verse, I don't have to worry about their contracts. I still want, and I forgot to tag and trade TJ Edwards last season. Shit. Both of these guys are really good, and I both want them. Can I cut someone? I could probably cut out Keenan Allen's contract. I'm, I'm not going to cut him because it's for the sake of the reboot. I don't think Keenan Allen is going to last this long on the Bears in real life. I'm going to have to do something. I want... I'm going to have one of them. I'm going to tag at least one of them, but I would really like both of them back. Also, what is... Hold up. Before I do any of this, let me see what Tyreek Stevenson's interest is and why is he bitching. He wants to be He wants to be in Florida. I think we all want to be in Florida, bud. Nobody wants to live in Chicago. Oh, well, I want to live in Chicago, Vic. Well, you're from the Bronx, all right? Anyways, um, what do I want to look at? Team salaries, NFL rosters does the same thing. Uh, let's see. Savings. Let's see what we got. If we cut Tremaine Edmonds, we'll save some money. Uh, we'll have a huge penalty with Keenan Allen, so we don't even save anything. Okay, what gives me the least amount of penalty and saves me the most amount of money? How about that, huh? Anything? Not really? Whoa, I have an X Factor? Tyreek Stevens? Oh, yeah. I have to pay him. Um, Jermaine Edmonds. Yeah, if I cut him, but I don't want to cut him. Uh, this entire point of me doing this is keeping him. Yeah, okay, I'm screwed is what <laughs> my salary is saying. Yeah, the good thing, the reboot only lasts for four years because I would not be able to retain Jared Verse or Caleb Williams. So hopefully we win the playoffs now and we'll, we win the Super Bowl this year. And let's move into the playoffs. 12-5, and five, top of the division, 91 overall team. That doesn't matter in simulation, of course, coming off a win to the Panthers as nobody else in our division makes it. Wow, Lions falling out. Same thing with Jordan Love and the Packers. But Caleb Williams, baller, top 10 QB in the NFL, fourth best offense in the NFL, fifth best defense. Crazy. And honestly, I guess these schemes really help. I guess certain players help with certain schemes. And we were like, oh, well, you didn't know that, Vic? You're such an idiot. Well, before it was about playbooks. Now it's about schemes. Now it's about both. And they're just changing shit every year, which is crazy to me for me to say that because EA never changes anything. So Caleb Williams, 4,200 yards, or I just built a baller defense. Probably that because, you know, I'm so good at the game. <laughs> I play this multiple times a day to pump out these rebuilds for you guys. But Caleb Williams, 36 touchdowns to only four interceptions, 117 pass rating. DeAndre Swift. Um, 13 touchdowns to 4.2 average, 1,200 yards. Uh, DJ Moore, 1,300 yards, 11 touchdowns. Roman Wilson, 13 touchdowns, 1,200 yards. Keenan Allen, I think I might just cut this dude. Like, he's not worth this contract anymore. At the end of the season, if I can cut him and save money and save the others, I will because this is... This is not the production. If you're getting outperformed by Roman Wilson, this is not the production I want from him. Defensively, Tremaine Edmonds, 114 tackles, tackles for a loss, 20 from Jared Verse. So I guess he's, I guess he's more of a run stopper than a pass rusher. Sacks, 16 for Montez Sweat. That deserves an X factor if he doesn't already have it. I think he only has superstar. Eubanks, 11 sacks, 11 tackles for a loss. I think that deserves superstar. I mean. Yeah, the defensive tackle, Justin Matabike for the Ravens had 11 and a half sacks, got second team all pro in superstar dev. So I think he deserves superstar dev. I'm going to give it to him probably. Please don't flame me in the comments. Two interceptions for Tremaine Edmonds. Safety zone team, zero defensive touchdowns is zero. Can we beat the Seattle Seahawks? Will Ken Caleb Williams get his third wild card win in a row in year number three here to beat the Seahawks and move on to the division round in year number three? And we do. 28 to 23. We could lose here to the Cowboys. We're three overalls higher. Again, doesn't really seem to matter in simulation. And yeah, case stated right there. Let's move into the fourth and final year.
And the Chiefs beat the Panthers in the Super Bowl. Trent McDuffie wins the Super Bowl MVP. Dak wins another league MVP. Sure, bud. Anyways, uh, Mad- Madison Dobson, the replacement, I guess, for Keenan Allen, like, what, three years later, <laughs> is uh, Rookie of the Year. No awards here for the Bears. In the NFC North, Trent Brown retires with the Packers. These are the team upgrades. I'm not going to complain about our team losing in the divisional round. It's the playoffs. Anything can happen in the playoffs. It kind of makes sense. Unless I lose to like a 9-8 and eight team that's an 82 overall whenever I'm a 91. That's completely different. But usually if I go like if I build a really good team like I have an 88 overall with the boost, it's usually like 91 whenever we were in the playoffs. If I miss the playoffs at 8-9 or 9-8 with like a 91 overall team, team, that's when I'll complain and I'll do it rightfully so. DJ Moore, X Factor, Roman Wilson, superstar, crazy good, crazy good team here. But this was really the year to win it. Harris, I wish I didn't give him that contract now because really I could have put Sheldon out there and put him, make him do almost the same thing. Eubanks, I know some people may get mad at me. He had 11 sacks. He's been really good for us ever since I drafted him. So he's going to get superstar dead. Double digit sacks. I'm not giving him X Factor. But something I am giving X Factor is Montez Sweat. He had 16 sacks. He almost averaged a sack a game. That's really, really good. <laughs> he had a really, really good season. He's going to get an X Factor here, guys. Please don't, please don't grill me in the comments. Defensively, this is what we got. Everything else. Jared Verse. He had 20 tackles for a loss, but he's not really producing sacks. Is he an edge rusher or is he a run stopper? Run stopper is his worst trait. He's a power rusher, but apparently he only has six sacks, but 20 tackles for a loss is nice. I'm not going to give him an upgrade though. Everyone else, fine, I guess. I mean, I have so much depth at defensive tackle, linebacker, even safety, DB. I have everything. Please produce numbers for me. Let's move into the re-signings. For the re-signing, sure, I'll just accept the option on Caleb Williams, but Tyreek Stevenson, can I finesse this? I think I can. I think I can. Since Tremaine Edmonds has an interest, we're just going to drop Tyreek Stevenson. He wants to go to free agency. That's fine. We're going to take Tremaine Edmonds. We're going to increase his bonus and his salary, actually, so that way we can finesse this. He resigns. Tyreek Stevenson resigns. Jared Verse, we're going to accept that option. Well, Tyreek Stevenson gets tagged. Ravon Dexter, everyone else here, don't have an interest in. Perfect. That worked out perfectly. Let's move into the draft. In the first round, we're getting more depth at safety. I have so much depth at free safety, now strong safety, linebacker, D-line. My team is so stacked. Cedric Ward, Ohio State, 6 foot, 210. And it's only stacked because I don't have to pay Caleb Williams and Jared Verse, which I will be screwed soon in the next season. But ha, ah, I won't be here the next season. Hidden Dev, so many A's across the board. He looks great. Now, this is the team going into the fourth and final year. Like, literally, my AI doesn't even know what to draft. They're, so they're drafting tight ends that turn into fullbacks for me. I'll move Crawford here to fullback. Like, 72 for tight end that I'd even draft seems pretty good here. And I got this guy. Uh, it's got Galloway in the second round. He blows. Anyways, uh, what happened to Michael Carter? I swear I signed him for, like, a four-year deal, but I guess not. Anyways... For the rest of the team, Ward is 77 overall baller. My team is so good. I will keep glazing my team, and the AI is just going to be like, no, no winning for you. Ward, we're going to not make him the slot, but he's going to be in rotation still. Team looks amazing. Please, let's go to the Super Bowl in the fourth and final year and get Keenan Allen his ring. In the playoffs, 13-4 and four top of the division. Do we keep getting snubbed out of these first round buys? Yeah, we keep, <laughs> we keep barely getting the twos here. Come on, man. Anyways, 13-4, still a great season. Stats and awards. Caleb Williams, it's going to be league MVP. Show it to me. Yep, Caleb Williams, league MVP. Second in passing yards, first in passing touchdowns, fifth in pass rating, second best offense in the NFL, third best defense. Amazing year, 4,500 yards, 42 touchdowns, five interceptions, 122 pass rating. DeAndre Swift, 18 touchdowns, 4.4 per carry, 1,400, not 1,400, 1,200 yards. His best year yet. Caleb Williams with 100 rushing attempts too. Interesting. DJ Moore, 1,200 yards, almost 1,300 yards with 10 touchdowns. Roman Wilson, 9 touchdowns, 1,100 yards. Cole Komet, 900 yards, 8 touchdowns, outperforming Keenan Allen in yards and one more reception. But Keenan Allen, 11 touchdowns, finally proving a little bit more of his worth, but he's still getting a little bit overpaid on this team. Still, it's about getting him him his ring. Tremaine Edmonds, 105 tackles, tackles for a loss, 17 for Matthew Eubanks and sacks, 12 for Montez Sweat. 8 for Jared Verse, 5 for Aline McNeil, interceptions, 4 for Tremaine Edmonds. Safety zone team, 0 defensive touchdowns is 0. So, anyways, let's see if we can beat Brian Burns and the New York Giants here with Dexter Lawrence. Stack that defensive line there with Kayvon Thibodeau as well to move on to the divisional round. Oh my god, <laughs> that defense did not matter. 52-7. to 7. 
humiliating them. I don't want any reason why we're not going to the Super Bowl in the final year, so I'm going to hop into all the, the rest of these games after humiliating the Giants. Here we are against the Panthers. They're going to start out with three. We're going to respond with a three second quarter. Come on, offense, show show that you're the number two in the league. Defense is showing they're the number three in the league. 13 to three. Come on, 20 to three. Defense locking up is the reason why we're going to win this game. Oh, please don't make me bite my own tongue, bro. It's, it's really not that hard to run the ball and finish the game. It's really not. <laughs> Third and three against the Panthers. Power, power, power. Oh, he glitched for it. I'll take it. We're going to win the game against the Panthers, and I have to take the knees because, of course, the AI will decide to pass the ball for no reason. So I'm going to take these knees, finish out the game. We're going to be moving on to the camp conference championship. And that will be that. My defense played well. My offense almost choked the game away. Still, very high-powered defensive game. Let's move in back to the conference championship. Here we are against the Philadelphia Eagles. We got to play at their stadium. This is going to be a pretty rough matchup. Here we are against the Eagles. 3-0 start for us. 3-7 offense. Please put up more points. 10-7 defense is holding up as well as they can against Saquon Barkley. The stacked out Eagles. I saw Devontae Smith on free agency. He was an X factor. He's not here anymore. But it looks like we're going to win this one. 38-17. 38-17 as we pour it on for the Eagles. 38-17 is your final score. And we are going back to the Super Bowl. Here we are in the Super Bowl here to face the 15-2 Jacksonville Jaguars. Wow. The draft class must have been really stacked for GC Sports, the guy who made this, and uh, one of my subscribers. Because, man, this is uh, this is crazy how many high overall teams there are. This guy, my second string tight end, has superstar depth. That's how stacked my offense is. My crazy team is in general. Any other upgrades here? None that I can see. So much depth for my offense. It's crazy. Anyways, apart from that, it is the fourth and final year. We've already lost the Bengals in the Super Bowl before. Let's see if we can beat a Wildcat here against the Grizzly Bear. Here we are against the Jacksonville Jaguars. We're going to start out the game 3-0. Defense holding strong every time I say that. They score 10-7 <laughs> against the Jaguars. 17-7 against the Jaguars. Halftime. We're going to open up the half with another 7. So we're putting it on them. Just hold the ball, run it, or just yeah, keep scoring touchdowns. That works too. Either way, we're going to win 31-14 against the Jacksonville Jaguars as Caleb Williams gets his Super Bowl win and Keenan Allen gets his ring. That makes it a successful rebuild. Thank you guys all for watching. Make sure you like and or subscribe. And your Super Bowl MVP will be Caleb Williams, and he's the league MVP. No other awards here for the Bears. But once again, it's a six... Oh, my bad. I had a burp there. <laughs> Anyways, once again, it is a successful rebuild, and I will see you guys all in the next one.